Welcome back to another Mystery Box Monday. And in this case, it is going to be yet another Mystery Tin. Contains two factory sealed packs, guaranteed a hobby pack or a fat pack or a value pack per tin. This is the, what is this, the fourth or the fifth one that we've opened in the Mystery Tins. And obviously, we like the NPB stuff, so we're not necessarily a in the norm, as a lot of people don't necessarily care for that stuff. But we are looking for a Shugo Mackey. We'll take one of him, or we'll take a Munataka Murakami. We would be happy with that. We have had a couple of Chrome Packs, and we've also had just a regular base. But more importantly, I think in the North American base, I'd be happy with a Bowman Pack, and we do. We land the Bowman right out of the gate, and I am ecstatic about that. We got Bowman coming our way. We got tops coming our way, 2022. I don't even know if we're going to... Let's see if we can get into this one. Tap that out. That looks like it could be just a regular type of pack. But we got ourselves the Bowman. Did we get ourselves a... Yeah, we did get ourselves an MPB one as well. So we have hit the load here. That is pretty cool. We got ourselves the Bowman. That is what we were looking for. So ecstatic for that. Now we've got the NPB here. We'll start with that one. Was it 14 cards in the pack? And we had a Yuya Yanagi numbered out of five in the first round of these boxes that we got. So anytime I can get the Bowmans out of here, we're pretty jazzed up about it. I don't know if we're going to get any shiny stuff in the middle here, but we'll find out in a second. There's Tomoya Mori, the star catcher for the side of a Cebu Lions. He broke his hand earlier this year. I think he punched a helmet or a wall out of frustration. He missed quite a bit of time. He got himself a decent year. There's Vladimir Ballantine, Fukuoka Soft Bangkoks. I think his career is going to be done in Fukuoka. I think they're not going to bring him back. Older veteran player. There's uh, Nakagawa, the pitcher for the Buffaloes. You can see he's a bit of a sidewinder. And then we have Ayumu Ishikawa, pitcher for the Chibalote Marines. There is the closer for the Tohoku Racket and Golden Eagles. That is Yuki Matsui. And we have Taishi Oda for the Hokkaido Dupont Hamfires. Takashi Ogino, he's one of the star players for the Marines. Outfielder, there is Yasuki Yamazaki, Yokohama Dena Bay star. Scott McGuff, a star for the Swallows, although he did have a pretty tough luck. Japan series, he made some errors. Yuki Takahashi, the pitcher for the Yamuri Giants. And then we've got a Soda Ikea. Rookie card for the Yokohama Danabe Stars. I haven't seen much of Soda. There's another rookie. And that is Ozumo Ta Takatera for the Hanshin Tigers. Yudai Ono for the Chinichi Dragons. And the last but not least, we got ourselves a pitcher. And that is Koya Takahashi for the Hiroshima Toyo Carp. So no Seiya Suzuki, none of that stuff, unfortunately. Now we'll get into this one next, and we'll save the Bowmans for last. And as we say, we got a Bowman in here, so we're excited that we get the NPB stuff out of the way. And then we get down to business. And it looks like a Don't Steal Me tag on the back. The always popular Don't Steal Me tag. We'll keep that one to the side. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. on the front. Ronald Acuna Jr., I don't know if that's one of the short prints or not. We got one the other day. We'll have to take a look at that one, but we got, we got Acuna. There is Avasai Garcia. We'll put that here next to the Bowmans. Avasai Garcia. Riley Adams rookie card for the Washington Nationals. There is Austin Riley for the Atlanta Braves. Ha Seung Kim had a great year as a replacement. I call him a replacement, but stand in for Tatis. Bruce Zimmerman of the Baltimore Orioles, followed by Zach Eflin of the Philadelphia Phillies. Zach Pop, a rookie card. He was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays. He's, I believe, a Toronto native. Drew Smiley of the Atlanta Braves. We'll flip it around for the Ahmed Rosario look. Of course, Cleveland Guardians. Max Scherzer in his short tenure with the Dodgers. Matt Barnes of the Boston Red Sox. Alex Wells of the Baltimore Orioles. And we conclude off with Corey Kluber. And what do we have here? We got a couple of inserts. We got a, a generation now, Cody Bellinger. Cody, you got to get it going. We finish off with another Ronald Acuna Jr. So Acuna to start and Acuna to finish in that pack there. Well, here we go. We got a fat pack of the Bowman. As I said, I'm pretty jazzed about this. 
We did get a fat pack of Bowman one other other breaks. I got a chance to watch a couple other people's videos, and it wasn't always the case. They opened a bunch of tins, and getting the Bowman was hard. It's not easy, but we'll take Bowman all day long. There's another Don't Steal Me tag on the back. If we get into the Bowmans here. Let's get rid of that one out of the way. And so, I don't know which one we should start with. Should we start with the top or the, start with the bottom? Whatever it is, 12 cards per pack. I think there's going to be some camo in here, hopefully for a numbered card. Maybe we got something shiny. Got a Nick Bitsko on the back. Tampa Bay Rays. Ooh, got some thick ones. Those look like the camo cards. We kick it off with a Tariq Skubal of the Detroit Tigers. That's his rookie. Remember, these are from 2021. Clark Schmidt for the New York Yankees. There's Tristan McKenzie. There's Ian Anderson. A lot of good rookies here. Anderson had a pretty good playoffs. Nick Madrigal. And then we're getting into the shiny stuff here. So why don't we do this? Let's take that and put it to the back. We're going to take the prospects and bring them to the front. There's Geraldo Perdomo. Wander Franco. Wander Franco. There's Nick Bitsko. And then we have that Madrigal again. So what do we have now here? Are we going to flip it over? We got a rookie of the year favorite. There's a Key Brian Hayes. Didn't quite have the year that Key Brian wanted to have. Royce Clayton. Finally getting a sniff of the big leagues. And then it looks like we're into some of the camo. There's Bryce Jarvis, pitcher for the Diamondbacks. Don't know much about him. Logan Gilbert had a pretty good year for the Mariners this year. Clayton Beater. Don't know much about Beater. There is Jackson Rutledge. And we conclude with a New York Met, Isaiah Green, outfielder for the Mets. So no Bowman firsts. And if I remember correctly, last year the Bowman firsts were at a premium whether it be paper or whether it be in the chrome. So Jared Kelly on the back. I don't know who you are, Jared, of the White Sox. We'll see what we get on the front. We kick it off with Garrett Crochet. I think he missed quite the he missed the whole year with Tommy John. There's Jose Altuve. Pete Alonso. This has a very similar feel. I think we had a similar pack to this before. Manny Machado. Luis Garcia. That's a little bit different. Now we're going to flip it over. We got Spencer Torkelson. A little bit of a disappointing year for the Detroit Tigers. Let's see what we have on the back end here. We're going to pull the prospects out of the back and leave the rest of the chrome. Blake Walston, pitcher for the Diamondbacks. Casey Martin, shortstop for the Phillies. Jared Kelly, pitcher for the Chai Sox. And there is that Tork Torkelson. What do we have here? We have a back-to-back -back Torkelson, futurist. Now we're into the chrome, we got, or into the camel. We got Xavier Edwards. We got Reed Detmers. Detmers threw a no-hitter already in his career. And now the Bowman chrome. We got a Trevor Larich. And do we get a first? The answer, no, that looks like it's Nick Lodolo. And that's exactly who it is. So no Bowman first. So a little bit underwhelming on the Bowmans. But that's what we get. So we'll take a look and see if we got another short print. Oh, the Acuna. I don't think that one is. I think that's just the base. All right, everybody, it's been another Last Crafts Baseball video production. We appreciate you guys for checking in. It's been another Mystery Box Monday. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments section. We'd love to know if you guys thought it was worth it. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again soon.